Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I'll teach you how to pass your walk-in interview. Walk-in interviews, sometimes referred to as open interviews, are interviews that anyone can attend without applying in advance. Companies will schedule a particular time, date, and location for these events, and will interview all candidates who attend on the day. So, if you have a walk-in interview coming up for any role whatsoever, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve this goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you some quick essential tips for passing your walk-in interview. I will then give you a list of the most common walk-in interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed, including a brilliant example answer to the interview question, walk me through your resume, that really will make you stand out from everyone else, before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your walk-in interview and I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's start off by looking at five powerful tips for walk-in interviews. Tip number one, keep your answer short. This is vital. Make sure your answers are always two minutes or less. In fact, as you'll see in a second from the powerful example answers I will share of you, all answers are under 30 seconds apart from tell me about yourself and walk me through your resume. Tip number two, make sure you're looking smart and presentable before attending your interview to make a great first impression. Remember, unlike most interviews, the hiring managers will have had no contact at all with you ahead of your interview. And so this will truly be their first impression of you. It's also worth noting that due to the nature of walk-in interviews, the hiring managers will be speaking with dozens of people that day. This means you need to be the standout candidate. Tip number three, be organized. Before heading off to your interview, make sure you have an up-to-date resume, cover letter and identification. Due to the one-off nature of walk-in interviews, you don't want to miss out on the opportunity by forgetting anything. Tip number four, study the job description in detail. I strongly recommend that you thoroughly review the job description. In your walking interview, you need to demonstrate that you possess the skills and qualities necessary to succeed in the role. For walk-in interviews, remember that the hiring managers will be interviewing large volumes of candidates all trying to demonstrate the same thing. You can give yourself the upper hand by preparing examples of how you've exemplified these skills and qualities in your professional life. Oh, and don't forget to research their company. That's really important to. And tip number five, ask the interviewer questions. Just like with traditional interviews, at the end of your walk-in interview, the hiring manager is more than likely to offer you the chance to ask some questions. I suggest you prepare some well thought out questions to ask at the end of your interview. Here are the three questions I recommend you ask. Question one, what are the plans for the company over the next five to 10 years? Question two, what advice would you give to the successful candidate who wants to excel in this position? And question three, what is the one thing I could do in this role to help your company to succeed? Okay, let's take a look at the first walk-in interview question to prepare for and a brilliant example answer. That first interview question is tell me about yourself. Now this interview question is one that frequently comes up as the first interview question you will have to answer in a job interview. You are being asked this question so the hiring manager can quickly determine if you are going to be a good fit for their team and to also assess your communication skills. If you give a weak answer, you will probably fail the interview. Now this is your opportunity to get your interview off to a flying start and be the standout candidate. Therefore, make sure in your answer you talk about the skills and qualities you have, not your home life and not your personal life. Instead, focus on your passion for this role and the experience you can bring to it. And finally, describe how you're going to add value to their company. And remember that tip I gave you? Make sure you download the job description and focus on telling them how your skills match it. It's really, really important that you do this because that job description is your blueprint for answering these interview questions and scoring highly. So for example, if on that job description they state they are looking for someone who is a team worker or someone who's hardworking and professional, make sure you use those exact words throughout your walk-in interview and give examples. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this position at your company. 
My name is Joshua and I consider myself to be someone who takes pride in their work and is knowledgeable, encouraging, creative and commercially aware. I have attended a lot of development courses recently and have developed a wide range of abilities that have made me a capable and informed contributor to any company. In my previous position, I was well known for working quickly, wanting to accept change with a positive outlook and being eager to assist with new staff training whenever they join the team. I am a high achiever. For instance, at my last employment, I assisted in expanding the company's visibility on social media, which boosted sales. My manager also frequently commended me for my willingness to step in to cover for co-workers who were ill or on vacation. If you hire me, I'll work hard to establish a long career here and make a commitment to always contribute value to my team by performing my duties with enthusiasm, attention and dedication. Wow, what a powerful way to answer that opening interview question, tell me about yourself or sometimes it may be worded as introduce yourself. Let's take a look at the next walking interview question which is why do you want to leave your current company? Now the hiring manager will not want to hear that you'll be negative about your current or former employer, colleagues or boss. Instead, when answering this interview question, make sure you keep your answer positive and concise. So let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. Why do you want to leave your current company? I'm ready for a new and fresh challenge with a new company and team where I can put my abilities and expertise to good use. Hence, I wish to leave my current position. I want to collaborate with like-minded professionals on innovative and demanding projects in a supportive work environment. I have a wonderful employer and together we've accomplished a lot while I've worked there but I'm now prepared for the next phase of my career which I hope will be with your business. Okay let's take a look at the next interview question which is how did you hear about this position? The hiring manager is asking this question as they want to understand your motivations for applying. So make sure you demonstrate that you have been eager to work for their organisation for a long time. That's really important. Let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. How did you hear about this position? I found out about this position since I frequently read your website's job listings. As soon as I spotted the job posting, I was all set to apply. Since I used your goods and services firsthand, and because everyone I know who has worked here has had positive things to say about you and the way your management team runs the company, I have long desired to work for your organisation. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you are ready, click that link in the top right hand corner, it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download download my 30 walk-in interview questions and answers for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. Walk me through your resume. Now remember, as this is a walk-in interview, the hiring manager will not have had a chance to read through your resume. They want to hear whether you have any experience in your employment history that is a match for the job description. So my top tips for walking the interview through your resume are, number one, Bring a resume to the interview, but avoid reading directly from it. Number two, work your way up from the beginning of your career to the present. Number three, skip over any positions where you didn't develop the necessary skills for the position you're applying for. And number four, pay more attention to the positions where you developed abilities, traits and experience that were practical and transferable. So let's take a look at a fantastic example answer to help you with this. Now this answer will be longer than your others, which is okay as the hiring manager expects this. Take a look at how I structure this brilliant example answer to help you answer this question to impress the hiring manager all in under two minutes. Walk me through your resume. I worked at Company One in Texas for my first job, where I packed and distributed orders for a year. In 2012, I moved on to work with Company Two, where I really started to pick up some practical skills that allowed me to be a very productive and helpful employee. After working at Company Two for 18 months, I moved on to my first big firm, Company Three, where I was a member of a product development team. I acquired significant experience in this position that is appropriate for this job. I worked in a team that created fresh goods and services. In this situation, I had to meet severe deadlines while collaborating with members of my team, vendors and stakeholders. In this employment, I developed strong communication skills which I think will serve me well in this role. After working for Company 3 for five years, I left to work for Company 4, a tiny business startup in my hometown. Again, I gained some excellent knowledge there that will be useful to me in my current position. I was in charge of developing fresh product concepts and bringing them to market. I worked on several project teams which required us to regularly overcome problems and I was involved in testing the products which required me to adhere to tight safety rules. 
I've taken on a lot of training courses over my career, including ones on project management, health and safety, and sales and customer service. One of the high points of my employment history was assisting my team at Company 4 in boosting sales by over 15% for the consecutive three years. While Company 4 employed me, my manager frequently praised me for being someone who would always see to it that team projects were finished on time despite having a number of difficulties to overcome. I am certain I have the skills and attributes and experience needed to fill this position and get up to speed fast and I believe choosing me will enable you to see a positive return on your investment in the long run. Wow that is a brilliant answer to that interview question, walk me through your resume which will impress the hiring manager and make you the standout candidate. Let's take a look at the next walk in interview question which is why should we hire you? Now this is a really tough one again but it's also a great opportunity to stand out. So make sure you give a passionate answer that also demonstrates that their company will see a positive return on their investment. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. Why should we hire you? I'm the kind of worker who is continually searching for methods to advance my abilities and positively impact the business, therefore you should hire me. I am the type of person you should hire because I accept criticism to advance professionally, welcome change with positivity and take responsibility for issues and challenges rather than delegating them to my line manager. Okay, let's take a look at another question. How well do you work in a diverse team? Now, many walking interviews are with national and international organizations, and therefore they will employ and deliver services to a diverse range of people. It's important that your answer demonstrates you work well in diverse teams, embracing different cultures, beliefs, and worldviews, that you recognize that their company serves clients from a huge variety of backgrounds, and that you demonstrate that you get on with anyone and that you have great communication skills. Again, let's take a look at a fantastic example answer to help you. How well do you work in a diverse team? I operate well in diverse teams and I really believe that accepting many viewpoints, ideologies, cultures and worldviews has enormous advantages. I also think that the company and its employees should accept diversity and change in an open, positive and constructive way if it wants to keep succeeding. Since the communities and clients we serve are diverse, building and developing a diverse team is the only way we can deliver a first-rate service. I'm always conscious of my preferences, communication style and personal feelings while working in any team. I'm also aware that various organisational internal departments within the company may have various working methods and I'd always be considerate and respectful of various cultures, viewpoints and ambitions. Wow, that's a great answer again. Let's take a look at another walk-in interview question, which is, what are your salary expectations? Now you must do your research before your interview to answer this question well. It's important that you know your worth and the value you can bring, but also prepare by researching the salary range for the role and industry. So here is a winning template to help you. What are your salary requirements? The pay scale for this occupation and sector is $34,000 to $44,000. Despite the fact that I think I'm worth $44,000, I recognise that you don't know me and that I must demonstrate my value to you. Based on that, I would be happy with a pay of $42,000 and I believe you'll get a lot of value and see a positive return in your investment in me. Now, in preparation for your walk-in interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to these following questions which are essential to your success. They are, what are your strengths? Where do you see yourself in five years time? That's a really tough one to answer. What is your biggest weakness? Again, one of the toughest interview questions to answer. What is more important, fast or friendly service? Do you prefer working as part of a team or are you better working alone? Describe a time when you have dealt with a difficult customer. How would you deal with a difficult coworker? What skills do you possess that you think would be an asset to our team here? Describe a time when you manage multiple tasks all at once. We pride ourselves on great service. Describe a time when you delivered great customer service. Why have you chosen to work for us over our competitors? Describe a time when you've shown flexibility. Tell me what you know about our organisation in terms of our values and ethics. So the next thing to do, if you'd like to download example answers to all of those questions, plus all of the toughest walk-in interview questions, is to please make sure you click that button in the top right-hand corner of this video right now. Head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download these slides and get access to 30 walk-in interview questions and high-scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now, and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your 
your interview and also more importantly put you ahead of the competition i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe as i'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and i can only do that if you are subscribed please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one and if you have any questions regarding any job interview please feel free to put these in the comment section below where i'll get back to you and let me know the name of that specific job you are applying for so i can give you the specific questions to prepare for and finally if you'd like to connect with me on linkedin i've put my linkedin link in the description below it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself thank you so much for watching i wish you all the best for your interview have a brilliant day